I believe that all of our comments are taken very seriously. Um, um, so, so it, it was a it was a very positive meeting. It was um, uh, there was a lot of dialogue. There was a lot of uh, good dialogue and good um, good uh, constructive conversation with everybody uh, between the, the cardinals, the the archbishops, and and uh, between all the survivors. And so, uh, but at the same time, we told them that it is important that that things happen uh, and that that there's radical change. But but. But, but frankly, it, it's, it, it's all about um, applying the law that already exists, um, and uh, I don't see any new avenues other than applying with rigor and this culture of abuse and this culture of cover-up by bishops, no matter where in the world they are, needs to end. That is critical. It, it was a lot of it was pretty emotional for everybody because not that everybody talked about their own uh, cases but you know we feel that we represent so many survivors from all over the world and it's a heavy weight to, to have when you um, carry and you think of all those people that are counting on you to make a positive change I thought the meeting was very, was very productive and that the, uh, the four organizers were quite receptive to what we had to say. Um, in my case in particular, uh, I presented a letter to Archbishop Sekluna about uh, how he could make transparency be effective. And um, much to my delight, he was very, very receptive to my message. They know better, but they're not doing better. And I don't know where the holdup is because we ask, what's the problem? What is the problem? What's the holdup in implementing zero tolerance? Like, what is it? Like, tell us. We're here. Nobody. It's like, oh, we already have the laws. We just need to implement the laws. The, obviously, the laws aren't working because children are being raped right now. So, what's the problem? Thank you.